turn my assist on. As you can see, I'm not too sure if you see that. There we go. I've already pretty much done 30 miles for the week. Okay, so I'm going to turn this assist up to just below the medium. All right, turn my lights on. As you can see, this thing is bright too, man. It's very bright. Just like a car headlight. High definition, of course. And we finna get it in, right? So, I'm gonna try to hold this camera as steady as I can. I don't have my uh, my glasses camera with me this evening, but I'm gonna try my best with my uh, cell phone here. All right. So we finna go for a ride around the neighborhood. It should be about roughly 25, 30 minutes. You know, approximately. It's going to be fun. All right, so here we go. Flip that back around there. Right, let's ride. Get out. It's not coming out of my driveway. <laughs> Never mind the gunshots in the background. I know you hear it. <laughs> Somebody tested on the Uber. This is a very, very nice spot. Right? Yeah. We're going to bring it for everyone. Let's get this bike here. It's very nice. It's usually around the range of between 1,000 and 1,200. The good thing about this. Yeah, but I caught this one that was on sale for approximately six hundred dollars. Right, so it was pretty nice. Definitely had to uh, get that, you know. Was a step. Right, so here we go. We on the road. I usually go through the neighborhoods. I don't mind. little slightly steep hill here that we're going to go down. I'm going to have to pretty much hold on the brakes for that just in case. Oh, there's a lot of speed bumps around here too. So. Very cautious of there too. So the reason why I gotta slow down around these speed bumps is because I'm trying to ride my bike and uh, hold this phone and talk to you guys all at the same time. <laughs> so pretty much I'm gonna record myself flipping over two or three times. Out. All right. I'm actually here to assist as I uh, 
know, pedal the bicycle, it pretty much assists me as soon as I start pedaling. So I can leave it halfway up or, you know, completely off or all the way off. Now, pull the throttle bike, right? Yeah, so it's pretty cool to have, you know, if you need something to assist you while you're out exercising. Just to let you know, this is it's pretty strong here too. I mean, as you can see, I only have it on the second level here, and it's pretty strong. So you can imagine how it is when I put it on full throttle. And just to let you know, the top speed of this bike here is approximately, I think, around 25 to 30 miles an hour. Right? That's pretty decent. Got a car backing up right here. Let's slow down for a minute. All right. Yeah, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool, right? So let's get back at it. So pretty much the neighborhood that I'm in. side and there's another exit so but it's all the way on the other side of the neighborhood right but we ain't gonna go that far around so, there we go we're back on the road So this is all about exercising, so it's really no set route that I'm riding to. You know, I'm just pretty much I've been riding bicycles, man, since I was like, as far as I can remember, maybe four or five years old, maybe younger. swing through there. And it's a slight hill here, so I pretty much don't have to worry about uh, any speed bumps or anything or any sharp turns. So I can get a good glimpse at where I'm at. Sort of like a recreation center, I should say. The community center is over here, down the curve across from the lake. Let's slow down right here. Alright, I 
I should have put some uh, a little bit of uh, oil on those brakes there some brake fluid but nonetheless we're good but here we are as you can see met up at the park here that's a little quiet town park you know amongst two or three others that we have in this town but it's pretty quiet sometimes it'd be some people out here at night you know because I guess because the weather is cooler at night but tonight is empty as you can see this is me once again so this is something that's very enjoyable you know it's not hot out here of course the sun is not up although I don't mind going for a ride when the sun is up because I usually do but usually around dusk you know I don't try to go around when it's like uh, like right after work like five or six o'clock you know the sun is still pretty much beaming you know <laughs> so I try to do it around dusk or like tonight right now it's like um, you know roughly 10 o'clock so it's pretty cool it's just cool out here tonight too it's like maybe I don't know high 60s mid 60s so it's not a bad night to ride right so we're gonna continue by going down this little hill and curve here I'm not so sure if you can see it but there's a lake right over there you know sometimes people go fishing over there it's not a bad park right let me make sure this thing is still recording as I'm speaking to you guys. All right, it's still good. <laughs> All right. So, sounds like somebody over there. I hear somebody coughing. All right, so we're going to continue. Let's move it on up. thing really kicks man. As soon as I get the pedal it, it already assists me. I'm holding on to both handlebars. Now this is the little steep hill I was telling you about. So this is where all the fun begins. You know when going up these hills here you know you can have your assist on and it assists you if you're going up the hill so that's the beautiful thing with these bikes here right this is a pretty fun place to be nice place to take your children got a nice basketball court up in there you know a lot of kids go play basketball very well air conditioned, so you don't gotta worry about that. Right. We pretty much did a U, so we're back on the road again, right? So now, what I usually do is go down by the gas station right so I'm gonna take a trip down through the gas station and then I'm gonna go through another neighborhood and then come back around on the other side and then we'll be back on our way to the neighborhood and that'll be it Okay. Make sure no cards is coming. We got one. I'm about to pull out of the driveway there.
Get behind this car. I want to make a right turn. Sometimes you gotta ride these bikes like you're on a motorcycle. There's a lot of cars. the local store amongst many you probably hear my voice a little muffled of course I got a handkerchief on so pull it down a little bit so you guys can understand what I speak station eh? so what we're going to do now we're going to cut through the KFC as you can see here they got this place blocked off due to construction that's what I usually cut through to go up to the service road that I usually go down Cut through the other neighborhood that I usually travel through, right? But as you can see, this is the come out of the town here. We're not exactly in the downtown area, but we're on the outskirts, right? We'll stop here and get a little rest. Okay, so this is one of the local state highways and major throughways. But as you can see, I'm on the service road, so I don't have to worry about those uh, 70 mile power driving cars, <laughs> especially around this time of the night on the main strip or the 18 wheelers. All right. And it's a nice scenery. Just like I said, it's a fun ride, man. You know, when everyone settled down, you know, the family, you know, they don't really need you for pretty much anything more for the rest of the night. And then you can get on your bike if you have one of these right here. Go for a nice ride, right? It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Not too sure where this car is going to go. I guess he's going to go down into the field feet and move out of his way a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure he wanted to make a left turn where, you know, all of the construction's going on at, but he's turning down through the parking lot, so. <laughs> yeah, this thing right here actually caught me off. By surprise too they must have just started this construction here so you know this like I said I go like maybe two to three times every week so it takes literally no time for anyone to start a construction site you know you can just pretty much bring out your bulldozers and your caterpillars and 
do what you have to do, right? All right, so we're gonna get going. Mato Express. Got a nice sound to that truck there. Some dual exhaust. Alright. He's pretty much turning down my way. Is he going to the same neighborhood that I'm looking to ride around real quick? Who knows? We'll see. There's a local Dodge dealership there. We got all those nice chargers and challengers in there. See? Our neighborhood. And I usually take a spin through. There's actually two parts to this neighborhood, so this is like the first part that I'm in right now. Just circle around and go a little fancy. Actually, see how bright the uh, the headlights is on my uh, bicycle here. Just like I said, it's just like a car headlamp. You know, it's very bright, and then it's you know it's high definition HID. So that's pretty good to have in an area like this where it's pretty much dark at night, right? This pretty much right here is just for you guys one night only, but for me, it's like two or three nights out of the week. Three nights on a good week, two nights on a not so good week, I guess you could say. <laughs> Sometimes we gotta take the bill with that, right? Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's not go on this little sidewalk here. At least this right here pretty much goes around the neighborhood here. So, and plus it also goes down just a little bit leeway through the road that I want to get in. I go back to the neighborhood that I'm in. All right, won't take us a little breather. Although I'm not really tired, but you know, just taking our time. You know, we're not in no rush. So while I'm doing this, y'all can enjoy the scenery. Huh? see something here okay I don't think I want it that big but it's pretty nice I'll switch that back All right. there we go And as you can see, just to point out, barely any battery life been lost. And look at the miles I drove so far, or rode so far as I should say. Although it feels like you're driving something with this assist, but <laughs> yeah, so the battery life is still pretty good on this right here, you know, with the headlamp burning and everything. So it's pretty much holds up on battery life with these bikes here you know so as I mentioned before this right here is a pretty good investment you know if you like to uh, do things like this take a little nice rides to your neighborhood you know it's not a bad investment especially in an area like I am and everything is pretty much long distances but as you see Definitely a bad idea. saying the sidewalk pretty much goes around the neighborhood but it ends where that last complex is right there so from there I would pretty much have to get on the road which is okay so you can see here it's not too busy it's pretty much uh, empty on these roadways here down that road there and this road here you're pretty much leaving the town area you're going into the country so and this right here takes you further into town the street here all right yeah sometimes it's just nice to just get out when it's nice and cool out and not too steamy not too muggy and while you're at it you got a couple of uh you know, strokes in with the bicycle, you know, you're getting in a good exercise and you know, you got a nice scenery here, of course. It's nice and quiet, nice and peaceful. You know, nothing really to worry about. And it's cool. You know. Of course, for us faithful ones, you know, we're going to say ourselves a little prayer first, you know, when <laughs> after that we get the riding, right? Make sure our goings and our comings 
or safe and on point, you know, through the almighty God himself, right? All right, so let's go. Oh, and also this bike has a throttle. It's like a motorcycle, so um, you can turn this assist all the way up. You just run your, uh, your electric motor. But as you can see here, as I've showed earlier, this is only two levels up all the way from the max. Now this is the max. If I want to bring it all the way up. That's full throttle. And I won't even have to pedal. You know, I could just turn this right here, which is the throttle. And it'll be just like I'm on a motorcycle. And it goes up to 25 to 30 miles an hour. Okay. But I'm going to put it back down on the level that I had it, which is the second level. We're going to get on this road. You know, you want to always ride on the uh, left side of the road so you can see the oncoming traffic for those who are unaware or not familiar with riding on these types of uh, roadways. Although they do it in the city too, but you know, the city is pretty busy, so people really don't have to worry about riding on streets or anything like that, you know, because they're well protected. actually part of the uh, second neighborhood that I rode through, but of course that neighborhood got the second part itself, so this is the second part of that second neighborhood that I rode through. It's, it's pretty quiet here. So it was out. Usually sometimes, you know, people will be sitting on their porches and just getting nice breeze, but
people may not see my people. should say part of the uh, outskirts of the town. Good investment for anyone. Enjoy your things. Yeah, I'm gonna later. 